Natalie, one of the themes of selfless is shedding mm -hmm. one's current life and starting anew. Looking back on your career, I know you're still so young, but your accomplishments, <laughs> do you ever feel like you're living someone else's life? You know what, no, but um, it's definitely fun to put yourself in other people's shoes, you know, just to kind of be a little apathetic to like what you would do or what another person would do, how another person would act. Um, I do live life and work separately, so that's why I kind of don't feel like I'm living someone else's life because I really do live my life to the fullest. And then I have an amazing job that gets me to like, you know, tap into other people's lives. <laughs> do you feel like you're living your calling? Yeah, I do. I definitely do. You know, back when I was younger, I thought my calling was to be a midwife and deliver babies, um, which has been a passion of mine since I was as, as long as I can remember. And that's what I really thought I was going to do until I literally just got a job in acting. I never went to school or did anything. And once I started doing this, I was like, whoa, like this, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. So now I'm just going to have my own babies and just continue to be an actress. <laughs> did you receive signs along the way? I mean, I know that's like, out you know there, what? No, Natalie, I, I do believe in signs. And, and, you know, looking back, I do kind of believe that I was put in certain situations and times where a lot of people aren't. Like, I was hanging out with people in the industry, huge names, when I was like 17 years old. You know, I was put in places and, and things have happened in my life that allow me to be where I'm at right now. And I find all those to be signs. I definitely, that's the only reason why I'm here is because I followed those signs. And when opportunity knocked, I opened every single one of those doors. So keeping with the theme of shedding, if you were going to give advice, let's say a little brother or sister who was an actor and they hadn't broken through, they were kind of struggling, and they asked you, how can I shed that struggling actor life and, and have success like you have? Just keep working hard. Keep working, because the struggle never stops. I mean, I'm in movies and television, and I still, you know, hustle and try to get the next job and try to figure out, I never know what's coming up next. And, you know, you're on this train and you just don't know when it's gonna stop and the hustle never stops. So I feel like it's part of it. It's part of what makes us strong and makes us uh, that actor. Do you know what I'm saying? It makes it all worth it at the end. But I honestly feel like just never give up, whether it's acting or anything in your life, you just don't give up. Do you ever mope when things aren't going exactly the way you want or do you say, no, this is when? There's times, I've had times where I've had to like, you know, I've gotten emotional about losing something or not something not going through the way I wanted it to, but you have to keep on. Like there's, there is no looking back, you know, there's, yeah, there's things that hurt and it kind of, it's, it was sad, but at the same time, you do try to find that somewhere else. You just got to keep moving forward. Thank you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet